So what if you're starting an email newsletter and you have past clients, customers, students, friends that you think wouldn't mind uh, receiving it? Um, the problem is that some email services like Aweber from last I checked because a couple of years ago won't let you just upload them uh, to your email list. They will like they will want to send out an email to them saying, are you sure you want to join this list? And I think that might be automated. I'm not sure. Uh, other places like MailChimp do allow you to just upload people, but they're strict about how many people click unsubscribe when you send out the email, when you send out the first email to them, hey, welcome to my newsletter, or hey, here's the next issue, or whatever. If 1% if, if or more people unsubscribe, MailChimp will flag your account and, and possibly suspend your account. So they're pretty strict about that. So what do you do then if you don't want to, um, you know? So I think what, uh, you know, what, what the services want us to do is actually to individually email or maybe email in batches. You can, you can BCC, you know, use, use blind carbon copy, like five people or 10 people at a time to say, hey, I just want to let you know I'm starting my newsletter, email newsletter, and we're going to have um, tips about this or special discounts on that or, or whatever. Um, and if you'd like to join, here's the link to, to sign up for it. And so that's kind of what they want us to do is to like contact people individually or in small batches on our own without using the software and having those people manually type, yes, I want to join, here's my email, you know, here's my email address. So that's, that's sort of like the most legitimate way of doing it. Um, if you want to just take the chance and upload people and send out a welcome, uh, you can, but again, you, you might hit that 1% threshold pretty quickly about, okay, each newsletter cannot have more than 1% of unsubscribes. So anyway, I hope this helps. Oh, and by the way, another way of doing it is to post it on your social media. Hey, new email newsletter, uh, you know, if you're interested in keeping up with our, with our updates and tips, uh, for you know, our best articles or our best videos or whatever, um, our best industry news, uh, here's the link to sign up. So be sure, of course, if you have an email newsletter to mention it, uh, you can have a launch of the email newsletter by having concerted effort to get people to, to sign up for it and then mention it every now and then so that people remember that's still there.